I love the McGuffies. I want to make sure my love for them is known. <laughs> they totally transformed my homeschool experience with teaching my children how to read. Hello, I'm Arielle from Revival Acres Homeschool at RevivalAcres.com and today we are talking about all things McGuffey readers. My love for the McGuffey readers is strong, very strong. I have tried to sway from them and go and be tempted by other reading curriculums and I always come back to them. I love them and I want to share that love with you. I learned about the McGuffeys through momdelights.com, Sherry Hayes. She is the expert. So follow her on YouTube, go to her website. I'm gonna be showing some of her other uh, uses and things that she has for free and definitely follow her. So she introduced me to the original McGuffeys and then here are the revised. I searched high and low when my uh, eldest was learning how to read for uh, Christian readers and I came up short, I couldn't find anything. I was looking in the wrong era. <laughs> These are wonderful readers. And the great thing about them is you only need one for every level. So I've been passing down the readers to my other children. So this cost me around $10 from Amazon and all my children will use this or all my children will use this. Now the revised, the copyright has not been picked up. So you can find these actually for free online, print them out yourself, put them in a binder, however you want to do it. So this is a free resource if you don't even want to buy this. I plan on using both and I'll show you how I do that. I love these readers because I do not need a separate reading curriculum. I do not need a separate spelling curriculum. Everything is right here. The only other thing that I add to this is grammar and that is when uh, my children reach about end of first grade, second grade. I believe in gentle grammar. And Sherry Hayes from Mom Delight, she uh, found this beautiful grammar. She remade it up. It's from CeCe Long, uh, early 1900s woman, uh, produced this beautiful gentle grammar series for her students in her classrooms. So she reformatted it and you can actually print this out on her website, momdelights.com for free or buy it through Amazon already printed for like $6. So that's what we do because we just love the colors and it makes my life so much easier. So this is a gentle grammar. This one is level two. So my second to third grader, she's starting, um, actually she's finishing level two and she'll be going into level three this year. And there are four, I believe in this series. And then after that, we might move on to Harvey's. I'm not quite sure uh, what we're gonna go into next, but we love this gentle grammar. Just as a side note, this is the only thing we add to the McGuffey's. I'll start with my, uh, my K first grader who's just on the cusp of learning how to read, uh, I would say fluently. She's doing CBC words, but this year I'm so excited. We're gonna actually do the primer of the revised. I did not do this with my eldest. I just went with the originals last time. But I found an amazing resource, McGuffeysTutor.com, uh, I believe. I'll link it in my blog post. It is an amazing resource. They have an entire YouTube channel dedicated to the revised. And they, what they do is they take everything that's in this book and put it in a video so you don't even actually need the book. And then you can go to their website and print off worksheets or booklets. Now there is a membership fee. I think it's only $89 for the whole year. Um, but you can download everything and save it to your computer. And then after that, you don't have to have a membership anymore. I highly recommend that. So what I'm going to do is use the primer and the worksheets are so well done for the primer. That's why I'm using the revised. Uh, they have cursive. I'm going to start with cursive this year and that's new to me. So I'm super excited because within the primer, within the revised, there are copy work passages that go along with your reading and it is in script. And I think it's very, very important for our children to learn how to read script and learn how to write script. So as you can see, they will be doing copy work as well from their readers. So the worksheets are super well done for the primer, especially so there's like a handwriting worksheet. There's also math included in her booklets. It's very Charlotte Mason. Um, there's a sewing uh, as one lesson. She tries to incorporate different handiwork and um, music lessons. You can find so much for each lesson. These booklets are like 35 pages if you want them to be 
for the primer. So that's why I decided to go with the primer of the Revised because there were so many wonderful resources that I found on that website. And then I also found at McGuffey's, I wanna say this right, McGuffey Reader's Guide, again, these will be linked. There is a website that links the original, so there's the original and the Revised and shows you where you would want to start if you're using either or, or you could use both like I'm doing. And also incorporate modern day curricula. So Explode the Code, you can use that with these books. And I know a lot of people love Explode the Code but might want readers. Well, this website has it all laid out for you in a chart. So this uh, chart is the, I believe it's the primer. So they created a chart for each level and lined it up with, first they told you what you should be reading at what grade level with the revised and with the originals. Then they, um, Alpha Phonics they have lined up. They have The Good and the Beautiful lined up to it. They have Explode the Code lined up and Logic of English. So if you wanted to do an extra curriculum, I don't think you need to, but if you want to, you could and it's all lined up for you. This was really helpful for me as my uh, eldest is transitioning out of, she's finishing the first reader this year and I was trying to figure out what I wanted her to do next. So that website was really helpful for me to get a grand picture. So uh, I'm gonna continue the first and the second reader in the originals because I love the stories. Uh, there's, they're definitely God-fearing and high moral character. Not that the revised isn't, but it's just a little different and I love the story. So I'm gonna use the originals for the first and second level, but I'm going to use the revised as extra reading and for copy work and handwriting. I'll print out the age appropriate uh, or the level appropriate for my eldest from the, the uh, tutor website. And I'll have her do that as like an extra fun activity and then also read the story out of here. But this will be her main uh, curricula where her spelling words will come from. Again, same thing. This, the original does not have diacritical marks as well. So I want my eldest to begin to, or she knows them, but not as well. So the revise will be a helpful reminder for her as that as well. So we will be using the originals first and second reader for my eldest. Um, again, the McGuffey's Reader's Guide, I, I'm using that as well to help me understand where to place her using the originals and the revised. And what I'm doing for her and what I did for my youngest, I used Sherry Hayes Lesson Books. She has, I believe, five levels. You can get them for free on her website and print them and bind them yourself. Or you can get them on Amazon, like I said, for $6. So that's what we did. And sh these are so versatile. You can use them with the readers, the McGuffey's, or you can use them with Dr. Seuss books or a different curricula altogether. Uh, I love that you can use them for anything. So this is level one. And this is all I had my, ch uh, my children do. I take the word list inside their book. I have them, so this would be like a pre-K, K, first grade. They, I write the word for them, they copy the word. Then they draw a picture describing the word. And then we also do um, some copy work. So this one, I had her just continue to copy words, but as she progresses, I had her begin to write sentences from the reading. So I'd write it and then she'd write it below. The next day we do another one. And then on day four or five, whichever week schedule you have, I would dictate to her one of her sentences that she had written throughout the week and the words she had been practicing. I was amazed that my five-year-old could do that. She wrote an entire sentence dictated to her all by herself. And she had been studying the reading all week long. She was able to do that. I was so surprised and wonderfully surprised. It worked like a charm and she felt so good afterwards. She got a sticker, she uh, liked to draw a picture. It, it definitely built her uh, confidence. So we love these lesson books and you can use them however you want. Um, as there are more words, you could end up writing two words here and she can choose a picture to draw. Um, you could split this up one, day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, or one, two, three, four, whatever you wanna do. So this is level one, typically used in the primer and um, maybe some of the first reader as well. My eldest, is, she likes to draw sometimes. 
So we ended up switching her to level two earlier than I probably would switch my um, other child to. So this one is a little different. This is where you would write your uh, words out of your reader. And I just had her writing um, every day, just like almost like copy work, just to get them in her brain. Sometimes I'd have her write it in a pretty pen or a pretty color. Sometimes we'd use magnetic letters instead. You can, I had her write it on a whiteboard just to mix things up. So I had her copying her words every day. And then the last column we used as like a quiz on the last day of the week. And then I also had her, she could write her own sentence, make up a sentence. So if there was a moral story about, um, let me think, about why we should love our neighbor. I would have her write one or two sentences over here and then draw a picture. And then the last day I would dictate on this page because there's like a big drawing down here. And I would dictate one of her sentences that she wrote to her and check her spelling and her uh, grammar, like um, uh, punctuation, commas, things like that. And that would be like her test on that day. Again, you can use this with anything. Um, but I prefer using the guppies, obviously. Like I said, free downloads if you want, or about $6 online from uh, momdelights.com. So that is how we use the McGuffey's. And let me know if you have any questions about how I use them um, and why I use them, or if you'd like to see a little bit more in depth. I do have an Instagram highlight uh, at I'm just Revival Acres Homeschool. On Instagram and that goes a little bit more in depth about why I love the McGuffey's and the higher levels I will say are fantastic because we take them through high school or collegiate level honestly the last book is uh, a little intense but it, it'll prepare your children um, and I'm actually gonna read through it because <laughs> I will have to uh, in order to stay on par with my children it's worth it so all these books will get you through uh, your children's education and you only have to buy them once. I hope that helped you. Again, comment, subscribe, let me know if you wanna hear more about the McGuffey's or how I use them. Thanks.